Hello everyone. I am Dr. Arpita and I am back to you with a fresh new topic from Palynology. Today we will discuss pollen sculpture elements and pollen sculpture patterns. The sculpture and structure of exine of pollen grains are important characteristics for identification. In pollen grains, most end exine layers are uniform in structure and are undifferentiated. The ectexine or sexine usually is not uniform structurally. Differentiation often develops in the form of irregularities on the exterior which are known as sculpture patterns. This lecture brings to you sections of the pollen wall illustrating the common types of sexine sculpture elements and sculpture patterns. We'll start with the sculpture elements of pollen wall. The first type is pilate. They are sexine elements usually standing directly on the nexine consisting of a rod-like base or stalk which is also called columella and a swollen apical part called the head or caput. Next we have clavate. These are club shaped elements of the sexine or ectexine that are higher than 1 micrometer with a diameter smaller than height and thicker at the apex than the base. Clava is usually a club like uh, supratectal process where the length is greater than breadth. This is often found in some elements of ilex. In pilot type, the pollen grain or the spore had a completely smooth surface. Okay, that means what the tectum is devoid of any processes. Fine, this is found in aconitum and betula. You can also cite other examples as well. Next we have baculate, columellate and gamete. <coughs> in baculate type, these are cylindrical freestanding exine elements which are more than 1 micrometer in length and less than this in, a di in diameter. So the length is 1 micrometer but its diameter is less than 1 diameter. Okay, this is found in Raistrichia sactora. Next we come to columellate. Here rod like elements of the ectexine or sexine either supporting a tectum or a caput. The difference between baculum and the columella in current usage is that a uh, baculum is always freestanding element of sculpturing whereas columella is a part of the structure. It's not freestanding. Uh, Alright. Then we have gamete or gamete. Okay. Here sexine elements which are constricted at base higher than 1 micrometer and that has approximately same width as their length. So the width and the length is more or less same. Alright. Next we'll talk about pollen wall sculpture patterns. To start with we have foveolate type. This wall ornamentation consists of more or less rounded depressions or lumina more than 1 micrometer in diameter. The distance between Foveolae, singular is foveola, is greater than their breadth. Next we have foseolate. Foseolate, singular is foseola. Here the all uh, the wall ornamentation consisting of an is consisting of an elongated irregular grooves in the surface. Okay, so the surface is containing irregular elongated grooves. Okay. Next we have punctate. Singular is punctum and plural is puncta. It is characterized by rounded or elongated tectal perforations less than 1 micrometer in length or 
diameter now this is followed by areolate in areolate we see a completely uh, different type of a feature this is a feature of uh, pollen wall ornamentation in which the sexine or ectexine is composed of circular or polygonal area separated by grooves which form a negative reticulum please see the pictures also you will get the feel of it this is found in phyllanthus of the family euphorbiaceae next we have retipilate here the pollen wall is with reticulum fine pollen wall with reticulum formed by rows of pila instead of muri okay this is found in calitrish next we have micro reticulate here a reticulum which is characterized by the consistent presence of one porate aperture in each lumen this is very well found in frolicia florid floridana florisia floridana in of amaranthaceae family next we come to brochet fine this is all this is also called reticulate it consists of one lumen of a reticulum and half of the width of the adjacent muri it is a type of reticulate pattern it resembles a network like pattern consisting of lumina or other spaces wider than 1 mm bordered by elements narrower than the lumina okay then we have cycatrichos it has more or less parallel ridges that are narrower than the spaces separating them all right next we have striate the pollen wall here is seen to have narrow ridges forming the muri in striate pattern i'm again and again telling please take close look of the pictures next we have corrugate this is also known as regulate it was uh, it has a wrinkled structure okay a wrinkled texture here the elevated projections are ridges with regular or irregular radial humps or bulges next we have ornate a reticulate ornamentation consisting of broad curved muri and lumina that are often anastomosing okay this is found in seba asculifolia of bombacaceae and finally we have the croton pattern a characteristic type of ornamentation comprising rings of 5 or 6 or sometimes more raised often triangular sexine elements arranged around a circular area usually formed by capitate columni uh, columelli okay or pila this is found in jatropha croton of euphorbiaceae family all right so these were some of the very popular very important pollen sculpture elements and pollen sculpture patterns please listen to this entire lecture very carefully in case you have any doubt any confusion anywhere please feel free to get back to me in the comment section i'll try my level best to clear your doubts till then Thank you for your kind attention. Bye bye.